Welcome to the online training video series for the Missourians for Monarchs Milkweed Density Monitoring Protocol. This is the third video in the four-part volunteer training series. In this presentation, we will review how to identify native Missouri milkweed species. Asclepius, or milkweed, is native to North America, but can be found on multiple continents. Monarchs feed almost exclusively on milkweed, of which there are approximately 110 species in North America. Milkweed is perhaps most well known for its milky sap. You can break a leaf to see if a plant you suspect to be milkweed has milky sap. Be careful not to ingest or get milkweed sap in your eyes. The only milkweed species that does not have milky sap is butterfly milkweed. Several other characteristics in addition to milky sap can help you identify milkweed. The unique and intricate structures of milkweed flowers are also very useful for identifying milkweed species. Milkweeds have floral whorls of sepals and petals with a unique third whorl of five hoods. Each hood encloses a horn, which is modified filaments of flowers' anthers. For pollination, milkweeds rely on butterflies, moths, bees, ants, and wasps. Milkweed produces seed pods or follicles as its fruit. These pods split out at one suture to release hundreds of seeds. The exact properties of milkweed's flowers, stems, and leaves varies with each species. Here are more visual representations of the commonalities in the genus Asclepius. In the left photo, you can see the corona with five hoods and petals. In the middle, you can see the example of milky sap secreted from leaves. The right photo depicts a seeded pod with longitudinal sutures allowing seeds out into the wind. Missouri has 18 native milkweed species. In this presentation, we will review the eight species you are most likely to come across in the field. The other 10 species can be found in flora of Missouri at the included link. Common milkweed frequently occurs in fields, open woods, waste areas, roadsides, and along railroad tracks throughout Missouri. It typically grows three to four feet tall on stout, upright stems with thick, broad, oblong, reddish veined, light green leaves that are approximately eight inches long. Domed, slightly drooping clusters of fragrant pinkish purple flowers appear mostly in the upper leaf axils over a long bloom period from late spring well into summer. When monitoring for milkweed, note that young dogbane looks strikingly similar to common milkweed. Both plants have milky sap and their growth pattern is very similar. Common milkweed has a hairy stem unlike dogbane. When mature, the dogbane stem will produce multiple branches from the stem, but milkweed does not. The flowers also look quite different. Common milkweed flowers are pinkish, large, and ball-shaped, whereas dogbane flowers are whitish green and in small clusters. The leaves of dogbane are more narrow and lack the downy texture that the underside of common milkweed leaves possess. Swamp milkweed is frequently found in swamps, river bottomlands, and wet meadows throughout Missouri. It typically grows three to four feet tall on branching stems. Small fragrant pink to mauve flowers appear in tight clusters at the stem ends in the summer. Flowers are uncommonly white. Narrow lance-shaped leaves are three to six inches long. Butterfly milkweed occurs in dry, rocky, open woods, glades, prairies, fields, and roadsides throughout Missouri. It typically grows in clumps to one to three feet tall and features clusters of bright orange to yellow-orange flowers atop upright to reclining hairy stems with narrow lance-shaped leaves. Unlike many other milkweeds, this species does not have milky sapped stems. Purple milkweed commonly occurs in dry to moist open woods, dry ridge tops, thickets, glades, prairie openings, stream banks, and wet meadows throughout most of Missouri. It is similar in appearance to common milkweed, except its flowers are deep rose pink and its leaves are more pointed. It typically grows two to three feet tall on stout upright stems with heavy pointed short stalked leaves eight, about eight inches long. Leaves are dark green above and slightly covered in downy hairs below. Tiny rose pink flowers appear in many flowered umbels from May through July. Spider milkweed is an erect to sometimes leaning perennial that grows to be one and a half to two and a half feet tall on usually upright stems. Leaves are short stalked, 
pointed, pale green, and about two to five inches long. In Missouri, it is commonly found in the Ozarks and boot heel. Tiny green flowers with purple hoods bloom from May to June. Sullivan's milkweed occurs in moist prairies, river bottomlands, and moist meadowlands, mostly north of the Missouri River. It typically grows two to four feet tall on stout upright stems with broad oblong medium green leaves about eight inches long. Rounded clusters of pinkish white to pinkish purple flowers appear from late spring well into summer. World milkweed is an upright perennial that typically grows to two and a half feet tall on simple, usually unbranched stems clad with long narrow leaves, each two to three inches long. In Missouri, it is commonly found throughout the state except in the boot heel. White flowers bloom in small clusters in upper leaf axials and stems between June and September. Four leaf milkweed typically grows to one to two and a half feet tall and is native to dry, rocky, open woods, often inhabiting slopes and ridges. Four leaf milkweed leaves are about two to six inches long and are egg shaped. Mid stem leaves typically appear in one or two whorls of four, with opposite pairs of leaves appearing both above and below the world leaves. Tiny fragrant flowers bloom late May to July. Identification of any species takes time and practice, so sometimes we need a little extra help. Here are just a few plant identification apps for both Android and iPhone users. If you have any questions or would like more information, please feel free to reach out. If you are a milkweed monitoring volunteer, please continue to the fourth video, Monarch Biology and Conservation.